Hello, I'm Isaiah and I normally post videos about my self-improvement, but today is going to be a little bit different. Recently, I've been needing something productive to do to fill my free time with. So I thought I would reignite one of my old loves, gardening. So that's what this video will be about, me bringing some life back to my garden. If you like it, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. I hope you enjoy. So, this is, or at least was, my garden. It's all potted plants and it's mostly tomatoes and green onions, but there are some fun stuff like celery and broccoli sprinkled in there. Unfortunately, because I was very lazy and because there have been some really hot days here in Trinidad, I have just let it fall out of disrepair. So basically, I had to get this stuff cleaned up. This used to be a broccoli. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the best at this. Okay, so this is how it looks. The area is kind of clear. All the pots are over there and all the plant waste is in this pile. Here is basically stuff I use to stake the tomatoes. And yeah, I'll clean those up and get them back in the soil soon. And yeah, this is how it looks now. I mean, look how absolutely tragic this soil looks. Like it's completely compacted. It's it's not fluffy at all. Like, look, it just clumps together. I, I don't know. Can't believe that I had plants growing in this, to be honest. But it's very depressing. Now it was time for some top tier food Liza, dog food. Just kidding, uh, this is just an old bag that I used to store some compost that I'd made over the summer. I then mixed this compost with potting soil and some soil that was already in the old pots. But in true 2020 fashion, things went wrong. I got some sand to help with soil filtration and I tested some ratios in the soil to see what would work for the garden. I ended up with a mix of a quarter sand to soil being the best for me. Okay, so this is what I have from that batch of soil, about six pots, five and a half more like it. Um, so yeah, it's all empty and I'll need to make another batch. I then took my green onions out of their old pots in preparation to put them in the new ones. And I had to take the mandatory garden selfie too. Now it was time to put this garden back together. Okay, so the tomatoes that I'll be planting out are from over here. So this is just a bin of compost that I put out and I didn't even plant these tomato plants. They were just seeds in the compost and they are looking incredibly healthy. Like this is my hand for scale, like wow. And then these are <laughs> slightly sadder tomatoes that I um, grew from seed. They look pretty bad, but if there's anything gardening has taught me is that it doesn't really matter where the plant kind of starts off, it just matters what type of care it gets and some great things could be produced, so we'll see. Finally, I got to replant the plants. Okay, 
What's really crazy is you can see the moisture get sapped out of the tomato as I put it into the new soil. With the structure in place, it was time to raise the stakes. Lastly, I put up some shade cloth to protect the plants from the really, really hot days. And just like that, five days later, it was done. So yeah, that is how I escaped my boredom using gardening. It was really fulfilling to be able to do something that wasn't work or school, but still be able to work towards a productive goal, and I really enjoyed that. I hope that watching this video helped you escape a little of your boredom too. I've been Isaiah, and this is how my garden has improved.